Okay, guys. Bearded guy is the wrestler. Oh, he's pressing in. Yeah, I would press in too, man. Um, the guy with the red wrist wrap is the kickboxer. So this is bare knuckle boxing in jeans. I love it. <laughs> Yeah, dude, if I were the wrestler, I would get him against the sandbags, man. And then use probably my superior leverage when it comes to this range, right? I don't even know what you call it. I guess it's in the pocket, but it's different than a ring, boxing ring type of pocket, right? It's a different type of give, the sandbags. So, yeah, I'm really curious what other strategies the wrestler is going to do. Because obviously in the center of the ring, you're probably going to get outstruck by the kickboxer unless the kickboxer is much more of a kicker than a puncher then oh he's throwing jabs he's throwing jabs there you go yeah stay in the center keep him at bay with jabs notice the kickboxer is much lighter on his feet right and there's nothing wrong about that it's just something to notice also notice the footwork kickboxer is cutting off the lead foot of the wrestler so Notice where the foot position is. That's important. Oh, nice jab to the chin. But again, it seems like the wrestler can have an advantage when our kickboxer is against the sandbags. So, wrestler definitely not, not as many combos. But kickboxer having trouble finding an entry too. So... But then if you just jab them the whole round or, yeah, body jabs too. But there you go. Nice. There we go. Dude, The it changes so much when you don't have gloves on your hands, man. You have to rely much more on head movement, especially bare knuckle boxing, right? If this were bare knuckle kickboxing, it would look like Lethway. Shout out our league, by the way, Clan FC. And shout out Victor for sending me some of this new stuff. The organizer of the league or any Ukrainians who can translate for me. If you guys want to get on fight commentary chats and interview with me, please let me know. Oh, wow. Wrestler did not take advantage of that clinch at all. He ate a few punches in the dirty boxing range, as they call it. Wrestler trying, notice wrestler, bearded guy trying head movement, right? Oh, oh, nice. There you go. You got to, you got to outstrike him in the in the clinch range. Yeah, I, I um I thought wrestler would do a lot more kind of clinch fighting, but I guess not. Dude, wrestler seems a little lost, man. Ooh, another jab. So the the boxer's best weapon so far is head off center line, jab to the chin, and the second best one doesn't do as much damage, but a jab to the body, right? So a jab to the chin, no matter how how much of it, it's just a jab, it still will be felt, right? To the body, it adds up, but in a one or two, he's not going to feel it. But just the the kickboxer hasn't been able to do too much damage. That's the thing. You see that? So he just needs, he just needs something. I don't know what the game plan is. I mean, you can see that our, our wrestler is isn't too good at guarding or defending his jaw sometimes, right? Maybe vary the jab up with uppercuts or something. Right, uppercut to the jaw might help. So, jab's right there. Come on, keep throwing the jab. Hmm. What do you guys think Kickboxer can do? I do notice Kickboxer has a reach advantage, right? Oh, there you go. This is this is wrestler's advantage. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Okay, there you go. Yep. When in doubt, grab at the body. Doesn't look good. Doesn't look good. Let's see what happened here. I think he just took one too many punches, man. See that jab to the chin. Almost always connected. Ooh, that um jab actually hit his pelvic bone. That hurts your fist way more than his pelvic bone. Oh, he did. Okay, our um kickboxer did try some uppercuts, man. Oh, that was a good punch to the body. Did you notice that? Guys, after a little break, they're going to continue, man. I love this. So now you have a few more weapons, right? There you go. Kickboxer's finding his confidence, man. He's finding his rage. There it is. Got him. Got him. Ooh, yes. He was having trouble finding 
the combo the whole time, but he finally found his confidence. There it is. Wrestler's also, of course, his reaction time's gone down, right? He's concussed. There you go. Yep, yep, that's it. I would call it, man. I would call TKO. I would call TKO. Yep, TKO. Good, good, good. I would call TKO. Wow, you're still going to give him another standing count. Okay, all right. This is Ukraine, man. This is Ukraine. He's obviously not responding intelligently, man. I guess, you know, just give him a three three standing count roll, right? So if he gets another standing count, just call it off immediately. Dude, wrestlers. Oh, see, wrestlers trying to go for wrestling, right? You go for your instincts, right? You go for what you have trained the most when you're concussed. Oh, throw some hooks, wrestler. This is hook. Yep, nope, nope. Yep, there you go. Called it off, man. <laughs> Ref still giving him another standing count, bro. This is so Ukraine. Look at that. Look at that. Nope. Ref gave him TKO. Right? TKO? TKO? Yeah, he's like, it's your third time. It's your third time, man. Come on. You, you got to call TKO on this, man. Don't let him fight anymore.